All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. One of the honors to my apostles and elders, a great North Stone who do rule and teach well. <clears throat> and peace and salutations to all you I came out there pushing his truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara. Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. To feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. Yahweh is the correct name of the Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the correct name of his son, all right, our Lord and Savior, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those are the names to call upon, all right, in the times, in the dangerous and perilous times that we're coming into, all right, to be delivered. So I just wanted to go into this really quickly. You know, I came across this video of this uh, Jake, you know, a uh, little like an end dub, you know, but this Jake, you know, had this vision, you know, and how ironic, man, you know, we're only what uh, a day or two, you know, into the new year, you know, according to Esau, you know, into 2024, you know, it's a, it's a very prophetic year, you know, um, through the spirit, our apostle, you know, deemed it um, through the spirit, you know, the hopeful, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. OK. And, 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 and it's bigger than just Jacob's trouble, man. OK. We're talking about the hopeful year of judgment. OK. So <clears throat> I just wanted to play this video, uh, get some scriptures and uh, Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the feast, the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh All right. Here we go. I'm going to play it first and then I'm going to you know, play it again and pause it and, you know, break it down. And I just woke up on the craziest dream ever. I came off a of water, a seven day water fast, and I've had rapture dreams here and there. But Jesus, I never had this before. I've seen like, you know, us going up or whatever. This time I was in my bed and then God showed me, like he showed me the process. He saw he showed me the souls being taken out, my soul was taken out my body. And he showed me the process and everything. And I saw my soul go and he just went the whole process of going into heaven. And I made it in. And I was saying, Father, my mom, my mom downstairs, I have to go get her. I'm like, oh, her. He's like, you can't go back, it's too late. And then he showed me, he allowed me to see what would happen after. I was able to just come back after and watch. When I tell you the minute that we went up, that he showed me a plane, a war plane warplanes in the sky with the Korean flag. There were so many of them. Planes falling off the sky. Disaster everywhere. People robbing people. Lawlessness. It was complete chaos. I just told my mom what happened. I told my mom, like, you were left behind and God was mad. He's so angry. Oh my God. I've had dreams before, but never have I been just terrified. Never have I been just terrified. All right, you heard it. You know, she she had a she had a she had a the, the Lord gave her uh, a um a very uh, bold and uh, vivid vision, you know, and it's uh fitting with the times, man. But let me just grab this really quickly. This is the Book of Acts, chapter two and verse seventeen. All right, and it reads, "And it shall come to pass in the last days." Okay, that's the time that we're living in now. Okay, we're in the last of the last days. All right. It says, saith the Lord, Yahweh. All right. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All right. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. All right. And your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. See. All right. So the Lord is pouring out his spirit. All right. Upon all people, man. All right. You, you even have heathens that have these uh, these uh, vivid visions of the Lord returning. All right. And uh, and uh, wreaking havoc, man. All right. On all you wicked. OK. All you wicked people, man. All right. The wicked. You all right. Which is Esau, Edom. OK. The so-called white man, woman and child. And then the heathen. All right. The heathen nations and even <clears throat> the wicked amongst our nation, man. All right. The nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, man. All right, two parts of our own nation is wicked. All right, so the Lord's going to come back and wreak havoc on you as well. All right, 
Hence the term Jacob's trouble. Right. But it says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. All right. Now, don't get this twisted just because it says prophesy. All right. It doesn't mean that, you know, women, you know, are going to be on the highways and hedges preaching the Bible, man. OK, no, that's that's not what it's talking about. OK, the word prophesy means to say before. OK, so to say something before it happens. OK, the Lord poured out his spirit for you to see. All right. Gave you a vision for you to see what's going to happen before it happens. OK, and by you getting on the Internet in front of a camera and posting it on the Internet. All right. Pretty much, you know, a uh, 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 revealing what 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 the Lord showed you that you prophesying. OK. So <clears throat> that's what the Lord is going to do, man. OK. Now, I want to play this video again and I want to just, you know, you know, pause it here and there and, uh, and uh, go through it and break it down. OK. You don't understand how bad it was. There was nowhere to hide. Nowhere Chaos to hide happened over. immediately after we left. Left. Immediately. And I just woke up on the craziest dream ever. I came off a water, a seven day water fast. And I've had now it says, you know, warning, dream, rapture and God's wrath war in, in America. All right. There's no such thing as a rapture. OK. All right. Certain people, uh, 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 people are not going to be. Uh, are, are not going to just vanish and disappear into heaven and, uh, um, while, you know, Jacob's trouble and all hell is breaking loose, World War Three, and, you know, uh, um, you know, race riots and things like that, man. Martial law and, and stuff like that is popping off and then you're going to come back after it's all said and done. That's not, that's not, that's not in the Bible, okay? The rapture is not in the Bible. I repeat, the rapture is not in the Bible, okay? All right, the scriptures talk about how we're going to have to uh, uh, um, um, deal with that, man. All right. Let me uh, let me see if I can find a scripture. Ye shall be saved out of it. And Salaki for the noise. You got a little nigga babies upstairs. Um, all right. So this, so this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse seven. And it reads, alas. For that day is great, all right? What day? The day of the Lord, okay? The day of Yahweh Shai's return, okay? So that none is like it, all right? It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? <clears throat> all right, and Jacob's trouble is going to happen before Yahweh Shai returns, okay? So excuse me, that, that great day is talking about Jacob's trouble, okay? All right, it says, but he shall be saved out of it. See, but he shall be saved out of it. And then, now, is that talking about the rapture? No, we're, we're going to be in the midst of it. Okay, the elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be in the midst of it. Okay, all right, but we're going to be delivered in that time. Man. Okay, that's why the scripture says this. Let me grab this. Uh, my servants, yeah, my servants shall eat. All right. Let me grab this right quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. See, now, if we're going to get raptured out of here or whatever, you know, why, why, why is the Lord talking about his servants are going to eat, but ye, but, but ye are, but ye are going to be a, a starving? Wouldn't we be gone already? And then, you know, you're going to starve anyway. Like, no, like we're going to be here, man. Okay. All right. The elect of the nation of Israel, the hopeful elect is going to be here. OK, but the Lord is going to provide for us, man. He's going to protect us. All right. He's going to keep us safe. Why? Because we, you know, in in, in the time, you know, uh, uh, um, that we had liberty like now. OK, we decided to to, to uh, turn back to the Lord and give our give our lives to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. OK, be soldiers for Yahweh Shai. OK, every day, man, 24 seven, man. OK. Nothing comes before serving the Lord and, 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 and doing his work. OK, that, that's what his servants are going to do, you see. And that's why in a day of trouble, we're going to be taken care of. OK, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. See. All right. So there's, so, so there's not going to be a rapture, but let me just keep going. Bad. Rapture dreams here and there, but Jesus, I never had this before. I've seen like, you know, us going up or whatever. This time I was in my bed 
And then God showed me, like he showed me the process. Yeah, she said that, that uh, she's seen them going up, all right? Because the elect is going to be beamed up into, into chariots, man, okay? All right? The scriptures talk about that, man, when, when the Lord returned, all right? That we're going to meet, we're going to meet them in the sky, okay? Meet them in the sky or in the air, okay? Let me, let me just put sky and see. Uh, Salakia, all right? I think it's meet them in the air, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> All right. Now, how we're going to meet them in the air, man. All right. You know, uh, uh, via via the chariots, man. OK, it's the, the uh, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. OK, those are not UFOs with aliens in it. man. OK, those are angels. All right. Men. OK. Fellow servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. It says uh, this is first Thessalonians chapter four and verse 17. And it reads. Then. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. See, shall be caught up. We're going to be called up. We're going to be beamed up. All right. Together with them in the clouds. OK, those clouds are the chariots, man. OK, you see, to meet the Lord in the air. OK, see, meet Yahweh Shai. All right. And the angels. All right. And parts of the uh, uh, um, 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 the elect. OK. Because some men are going to have to die, you know, are going to have to be martyrs in this truth, okay? But that, but 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 at, but as you know, as the Lord said in the scriptures, as it is prophesied, they're going to be raised up first, okay? And we're going to meet them, those of us that remain, we're going to meet them in the air along with the Lord's and along along with Yahweh Shai and the angels, okay? And so shall we ever be with the Lord, see? So th so those are not uh, uh, UFOs, men. All right, those are chariots. With angels in them. Yes. He saw, he showed me the souls being taken out. My soul was taken out my body. And he showed me the process and everything. And I saw my soul go and just went the whole process of going into heaven. And I made it in. And I was saying, Father, my mom, my mom downstairs, I have to go get her. I'm like, oh, her. He's like, you can't go back. It's too late. And then he showed me. He allowed me to see what would happen after. I was able to just come back after and watch. When I tell you the minute that we went up, that he showed me a plane, a war plane, war planes in the sky with a Korean flag. There were so many. Yeah. So she said the Lord showed her um, war planes. All right. And I'm pretty sure she saw chariots as well, you know, uh, um, fighting with those uh, um, war planes. OK. All right. Because because the scriptures talk about what the war in heaven. OK. All right. War in heaven. All right. Let's see what pops up here. All right. <clears throat> it's the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 7, and it reads, And there was a war in heaven. Okay. And what does that mean, a war in heaven? It, 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 is it going to be in, in the uh, another realm? No, it's going to be in this realm. Okay. Right here on earth. Okay. But in the sky. Okay. You're going to have war planes from different countries and, you know, uh, uh, um, people are, you know, these they, these nations are going to be fighting each other, but but then they're going to see the Lord come with 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 the angels, all right, to make war with them, all right, and they're going to you know you know bind together, even though they're going to be scared according to the scriptures, they're going to durst fight, they're they're going to still fight, right? The Lord is going to make them fight, all right, even though they're going to be shitting their pants, all right, <clears throat> but that's going to be the war in heaven, okay? The Lord, all right, making his second coming, all right. With the angels versus, uh, uh, um, you know the the uh, the uh, the uh, dragon. Okay, let me slot it. Let me keep reading. And there was a war in heaven. Michael, all right, the archangel Michael, right, and his angels, all right, the the chariots fought against the dragon, all right, and the dragon and his angels. See, okay, when it talks about the uh, the uh, the uh, dragon, okay. You got to think about the scriptures when it talks about uh, um, the whore, all right, that sat upon the beast, okay, all right, and the beasts are these, you know, the, these uh, these are European nations, okay, the European Union, all right, and NATO, the NATO nations, okay, all right, and the whore that sits upon that dragon or those nations, okay, you know, is uh, uh, Babylon the Great, aka America, okay, the whore of Babylon, okay, which is America. Okay, so that dragon, all right, 
which are, which are those nations, all right, a part of the, the you know the European Union and uh, NATO, right, are gonna are going to fight against Michael, the, the Archangel Michael, and you know the uh, the uh, the angels, man. Okay, all right, and that dragon, his angel is gonna be those warships, like the you know like the you know the lady explained that she's seen in the vision. Okay, all right, so that's gonna be the war in heaven, man. Okay, that's what the Lord showed her. Them planes falling off the sky, disaster everywhere, people robbing people, lawlessness. It was she said, people robbing people and lawlessness. That's also in the scriptures, man. All right, the scriptures talk about sedition among men. Okay, you can read pretty much uh, the entire chapter of uh, Second Edris. Okay, matter of fact, let me get that. Uh, Second Edris, chapter 15 and 16, really. But, you know, 15 would probably be the best. All right. Oh, it's the lock, yeah. Not first address. I need to go to second address. All right, chapter 15. And let's see. We'll go to verse 10. All right. Let's see. I'll just, I'll just start at verse 14. This is the book of second address, chapter 15 and verse 14. And it reads, woe to the world. All right. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay. It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Okay. The modern day swords, all right, that, that uh people have access to, all right, are uh, uh um the gun, okay. You see? It says verse 16, for for there shall be sedition among men. You see, sedition among men, all right, and invading one another. See, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Okay, the modern day kings and princes are, you know, your your uh, your mayors, your aldermen's, all right, your presidents. All right, hell, you can even throw the uh, the uh, you, you know your local police department in there. Okay, or the army. Okay, you're not going to regard them. Okay. It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. See, this is this is all lawlessness and chaos, man. Okay. You see, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because they're going to block everything off. Okay. All right. Look up, look up the, um, look up, look up the FEMA regions. Okay. I think it's 10, 10, 10 FEMA regions. Okay. That if there ever was a, 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 a nation, you know, national emergency that they can, you know, break the, the uh, United States up into into a 10 FEMA regions, okay? And you cannot leave out of that region, okay? Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, see? And this is what it all boils down to, man, all right? Especially, you, you know, two-thirds of our own people, man, okay? Probably even that woman that had that vision, man, okay? You see? Now, Lord willing, she repents, okay? She still has time, all right? But most of our people, as we know in the scriptures, they're not going to repent. Okay, two thirds are going to be what is it, Zechariah thirteen and eight. All right, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. All right, it's talking about the Israelites. All right, it's prophecy, man. So it's going to happen. You see, they're not going to turn back. But Lord willing, she, you know, you know that that a vision, you know, put that fear of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in her, where that she uh, uh, um, um, turns back, man. Okay. You see, it says, it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. You see, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, right? Take all of their belongings, right? Because of the lack of bread, all right? It's going to be a famine. There ain't going to be no food out here, man. People are going to be breaking into each other's homes, looking for food and, and, and you know, uh, toiletries and, you know, things that people take for granted every single day, man, okay? All right, water and things like that, see? It says, and for great tribulation, you see? So that's what she saw, all right? But, that, but that's prophecy. That's a part of the scriptures, you see? Complete chaos. I just told my mom what happened. I told her mom, like, you were left behind, and God was mad. He's so angry. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yahweh Shai is pissed, man. All right, matter of fact, let me get this. 
you know, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right. The scripture says what? Angry with the wicked every day. All right. The book of Psalms, chapter seven and verse 11. All right. Come on. And it reads, it says God, all right, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right. Hell in Yahweh Shai. Okay. God, uh, 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 Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, judgeth the righteous. All right. And Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day, every single day, man. All right. Because you niggas wake up and you find a different and more creative and a more wise way to do evil, man. Okay. You see, you create bad times, man, for others and for yourself, man. All right. Piling upon iniquity, which is sin upon sin. All right. Constantly breaking the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments, man, which we are to still uphold to this day, man. Okay. To the best of our ability because we are in a, we are also in captivity it's certain things you can't do when it comes to the law okay but what but but the things that you can do our people don't think about that man all right they don't consider okay you see in the days of your youth the lord told us to seek the lord man okay you see while you still have time but our people aren't going to do it okay and that's why the lord is pissed at you man okay now, let me also get this. Uh, let me see. Rebuke. Yep. Flames of fire. Okay. She said the Lord was mad. He was mad. Yeah, he was mad, man. He was pissed, man. Lord is pissed, man. All right. Why? Because it's wickedness, man. The, the, the earth is covered in darkness, man. Okay. This place is fucking filthy. These, these people's spirits are filthy. These people's minds are filthy. Okay. The earth is polluted, all right? All under the rulership of this devil, man. The wicked, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, the, starting with the elite banking families, man. They got to go, man, okay? So if you think about it, you know, when it comes to Jacob's trouble, okay? Because remember, the Lord said he was going to start with his house, okay? That's going to start the process of cleaning the wicked off the damn earth, man. Well, it's like a, not, not a damn earth, okay? But cleaning the damn wicked off the earth, man. OK. And moving towards the earth being completely righteous, man. OK. So that the kingdom of heaven can be established, man. OK. Because it's wicked, man. Of course. So, so, so yeah, of course, the, of course, the Lord is is, is a angry man. All right. Book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. And it reads, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh. All right. What's the like Yahweh Shai? OK will come with fire he's gonna make his second come he's gonna come but he's gonna come with fire okay and with his chariots okay those so-called ufos all right like a whirlwind okay so to what to, to do what to render his anger with fury which is more anger right and his rebuke which is his correction okay how is he going to correct the wicked by judging them all right killing them all right you see, it says with flames of fire. See, so yes, the Lord is angry. Okay, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day, and Yahweh Shai is angry with the wicked every day. And when He comes back, He's going to show His anger, man. Okay, and that's why we do what we do. Okay, all right. The scriptures talk about uh, uh, um, um, kiss the sun, least He be angry with you. Okay. You see, we don't want to, We don't want the Lord to be angry with us, man. He's angry at you, the wicked. Okay, two thirds that don't want to repent, man. He's angry. He he's pissed off at you, especially you women. Okay, so called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole, uh, uh, um, Indian women. Okay, that don't want to get right. You want to be independent, and I can do what I want, like like uh, Carmen, man, off South Park, man. Okay, cool. But the Lord is pissed with you, man. And when you come back, he's he gonna he gonna, he gonna blow the Nicki Minaj wig off your ass, man. Okay. With fire. Okay. So, Salakia, let me keep going. You know what? I think I think that was the point. I think that was the end of the video. You know. But that's a hell of a vision that she had, man. All right. And plenty of people are having these visions, man. All right. About America being destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Okay. And before that, what what all hell breaking loose here in America, all right, famines, all right, a lot of death, you know, 
my mother, my mother, uh, um, what uh, I think it was like three or four years ago, man. She she came to me, man. You know, I came over in the middle of the night, man, because because uh, she had a she said she had a nightmare. Okay, she wanted me to come over, man. All right, how ironic she called me over, right? But she called me over, man, and I and I asked her, hey, what's wrong? You know, and she told me oh, I had I had a bad. She was crying, eyes all puffed up. She said I had I, I had a terrible dream. I said, what was it about? She said I was just standing. I was trying to hide behind a garbage can because people were were literally killing each other. They were shooting each other, stabbing each other, you know, all all types of killing. But they was killing each other. And I was trying to hide. See, those things are going to happen, man. OK, those things are going to happen, man. OK. And if you get caught up in it, man, you, you know, hey, hey, if you don't repent, Salakia, if you don't repent, if you're an Israelite, and you don't repent. You're going to get caught up in that, man. OK. So I'm going to leave it there. Lord willing, it's edifying to the body. And if you had the sheep through the spirit and power of your heart, by Shemiah Shai, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.